saw the build up of this flat pack. Well, these flat packs are really simple to assemble, especially when you just follow the instructions step by step. Everything you need is inside this flat pack. All the screws, the Allen key, the only additional tools that you're going to need is a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver. Now to me, this is quite a crucial point right at the beginning of the assembly, and that's to identify each one of the panels according to the structure manual in the diagram and label them all up as per their allocated numbers. So it's very simple to do. The first thing we'll do is look at number one. We know that is the top section, so straight away you know there's not going to be any holes in the top section of that panel. So I can see there's holes in the top section here, so that must definitely be the bottom panel, therefore that must be the top panel. That's going to be number one, and this guy's going to be number two. So have a look here at the rest of the panels. There's four panels here which all look the same size. This panel has two large holes which is definitely for the hinges, so straight away I can identify that this is the door. So I'm going to mark that as number eight according to the manual. We can see that our top rail is going to be this little short guy here, that's number five. Then we have our shelf section which is number seven, that's an easy one to identify. It's basically the odd one out. You're going to have a thin panel like this which is going to be the backboard, that's number ten. Now we're down to our last three panels. Now you can see two holes here for hinges, two holes here for hinges. So I know, well that must be panel number four and this one must be panel number six which is the middle panel. Therefore, the last panel must be panel number three. And now it's time to empty out the hardware bag and I find it so much easier to sort out those components too. Now we're going to be pushing in the dowels into panel five, four, six and number three. One dowel per side on panel five and it's going to push in to the larger hole. In panel four, it's one in the centre on the bottom and one in the centre at the top. On the middle divider, exactly the same. One in the centre at the bottom, and one in the centre at the top. You're now going to start off with the cam locks. Now it's important that the cam lock has a little arrow at the top, and that's going to point towards the top of the hole. That's going to go in panels number four, six and three. Next step is to screw the cam screws into panel number one, which is the top panel. Now you can screw them in by finger and then just tighten at the end with a screwdriver. Now this is the fun part where we get to start assembling our flat pack. Normally the instruction manual shows you building it upwards like this. I find it much easier to actually build it on its back and that way it actually keeps my hands free and the panels are supported with the floor, stops them from flopping around so much. Handy hint, to keep everything the right way around I like to take the front edge, you'll see on the panel there's a front edge and there's a back edge. Keep the front edge on the upside and then we can pop in our first panel. Panel number two fixed to panel number three, it's just being held in by that wooden dowel peg. We're now going to secure that using the 38mm director screws. And we're going to use the Allen key tool which comes in the kit. Okay, that's our first panel in. We're now going to do the other side. Over to the next page and we're going to be popping in panel number six which is in the middle. The next step is also putting in panel number five. I actually like to do both of those at the same time. Pop in our director screws. Now that's the shelf and it's now time to flip it over onto its underside. Before I do that, it's now a good time to put in our feet. Each one of the feet has one of the screws to go with it. Pop that through, line it up to the pre-drilled holes. Remember there is one foot in the middle, so it prevents it from sagging. Feet on, flip it over onto its underside. Now we're gonna pop on our top panel and as you can see we've got our dowel pegs and to line up with the middle holes and the cam screws are gonna go all the way down locking into the cam locks. Now as you turn the cam lock clockwise, you'll see it grabs the screw and pulls that panel down nice and tight. That's the top piece on secure, it's now time to flip it over on its front and secure the backboard. This is where we're going to use our panel pins, line them up, making sure that the pin is going in the centre of the wood. If you keep it too close to the edge, it's going to burst out and it's going to look terrible as it damages the edge of the wood. Okay, next step is to put on our door. First thing we need to do is pop on our hinges and our handle. And screw those in. And that self-aligns itself for you. Let's quickly do our handle as well. Holes for the handles are already there. I find it easier just to loosely fit both screws first and then you can tighten them up. That way, if there's any misalignment, it sorts itself out afterwards. Okay, that's our door complete. We now need to assemble it to the unit. 
Now, you can hold it into position and screw them into place. If you're on your own, I actually find it easier to take the cabinet and flip it up on its side. It's so much easier this way. The weight of the door is supported on the floor and the screws aren't going to be falling around out of place. Right, you've got your hinge secured into position. Now you'll notice that your door is quite out. So what we need to do is adjust each one of the hinges. Now they've got special settings on them which pulls the hinge back and forth to accommodate this misalignment. We have this top screw here. As you screw that in, so it pulls the door out. If you screw it out, so it pulls the door back in. Just small adjustments at a time and you can keep checking it. It's a good idea to pop in a little stopper for our door. Now you're gonna double check whether the door is flush. Straight away you can see that we've got to pull this section out and we're going to push this bottom section in slightly. So there's adjustments on these sides there which have got a slot to groove which allows you to move the position horizontally on the hinge. With your door in place level and square it's now time to remove all of your labels and then finally take these matching veneers which are going to cover over each one of the holes. We've got the small ones for the director screws and we've got the large ones to cover over the cam nuts. What's nice about them is they match up exactly to the grain structure of the cabinet, therefore disguising all those holes. There you have it, as easy as one, two, three to assemble this flat pack and it was just under 10 steps. The most important thing now is to put it to good use. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to our Builders Fan YouTube channel. There's a range of DIYs and how-tos just like this for you to check out, get inspired, but most importantly, get to Builders and get it done.